when you've got good friends there. Um, uh, hello, hello, my name, my name, welcome to the Jeff Show. Uh, this is a product review show that we do every single day of the year. And we, and we make sure to only do it on Mondays. Um, <laughs> Uh, that was an Irish dialect, and I did it because I have a great respect for the people in Ire- uh, Ireland, Ireland, and um, and I just wanted to show them how much I care about them and love them, and um, and show my utmost concern for the, th- uh, the the stuff going on with the potatoes and whatnot. Um, this is August nineteenth, and I am here um, as always with my um, oh. <laughs> uh, with my good friend and and look at you you look like a um a, a super cool hippie um and your name is peter um it has been an extraordinarily long week and very disappointing for lots of reasons but first let me just tell you what's been going on last week we posted a video on therabreath and we were reviewing it and i know it was very exciting for pete because pete has often talked about how um, my breath uh, smells like a monster lives in my mouth and one of the great things about that episode was I was able to uh, eliminate some of that scent uh, for Pete for a good five minutes, and I know that made Pete very happy. We even got a response from Therabreath on Twitter where they said, you know, Jeff, you look very good in your suit, and I'm paraphrasing, and you have an incredibly clean set. (laughs) And we have never heard um, anything really from anybody that we review products on, uh, but in particular something nice, and that was a great way way to start the week. And we want to thank the folks at Therabreath and particularly the owner of Therabreath, uh, Dr. Um, uh, uh, um, Harold um, Kotze, Kotz. And, uh, and we thought that was super cool. But one of the things that really distressed us was that when we posted that video, we received um, a click on the thumbs down dislike button. And I know this made Pete very upset. Um, he talked to me for uh, for qu- quite quite a few hours on the phone late at night about it, and I was very upset as well. I expressed my concern about it as well. And I, you know, one of the things I want to say is I understand people that don't like things. There are plenty of things that I don't like. I don't like Time Warner Cable, uh, large breed dogs, um, cantaloupe. Uh, sometimes Pete. And I, I, you know, I'm being honest with you, Pete, because sometimes you don't do your job properly. And, and, you know, I think everyone out there would agree in those moments, nobody likes you. And, uh, and dislike would be a better word for it. We dislike you. It's more of an active word. Um, But, you know, I can relate. There are things that I don't like. Um, And the difference between the way I don't like something and the way whomever uh, clicked to dislike uh, doesn't like something is I don't tell people. I don't tell the things that I don't like that I don't like them. Um, I don't start eating a cantaloupe and turn to the cantaloupe and say, I, I don't like you, cantaloupe. I'm not going to I'm going to eat you, but I don't like you. I don't do that. Um, I, if a large breed dog comes at me, I'm going to pet it. I'm not going to say, halt, uh, dog. I don't like you. I don't want you to come near me. I don't want to pet you, you know? Um, With Time Warner Cable, well, I do tell them I don't like them. But But you understand the point is, I don't think it's appropriate to tell people when you don't like something. If you don't like it, keep watching it, smash the subscribe button, click the like button, and then tell your friends behind our backs that you don't like us. And tell as many people as you want, as long as it doesn't get back to us and hurt and hurts our feelings. But when I agreed to do this show, I agreed that I would do it every single day. And that includes only on Mondays. And I would keep reviewing products no matter how, how often somebody said they didn't like me or what we were doing. Um, And I just want to say to the probably uh, 16-year-old kid who clicked dislike on our video, 
Um, you're like a young Jeff Bezos, and uh, you can honestly go f yourself. Thank you for letting me get that out, Pete, and thank you for your support. Uh, next time, put your hands closer to my legs and crotch. Okay, so what we're going to review this week is exciting, and I'm really glad to get back on track and really start getting those thumbs ups again, um, because we love those thumbs up. They make us go thumbs up in various parts of our body, and I think you would like that uh, as much as I like it. So this is kind of exciting, because this is a new drink that we're a, a new mysterious drink that we're going to review. And I think a lot of you might not have even heard about it at this point. Th thank you. This is called um, uh, um, o -O Oat uh, Lee <laughs> because of the exclamation uh, par um, point. And this particular brand of Oat Ali is, um, uh, is the, is an, it's an oat milk um, and it's a chocolate, uh, chocolate. Um, and this is vegan. And we all love vegans. We all appreciate um, every time we're at a dinner and there's a vegan at the table and it takes extra time to order because they have to ask questions to the waiter. We, we, we love that and we support that. And we know that no matter how hungry we are, we're willing to wait for them to, to make their, get their order in and make sure that um, everything is uh, appropriate for them. But this is super cool. And one of the things about oat milk, and I think is really interesting, is that most milk comes from cows. Um, English cows and Danish cows and the German cows. And everybody um, has lately decided, you know what, that milk uh, from cows makes me sick or it hurts my feelings or whatever it is that they think it does. And so everybody moved to soy milk. And then Soy milk was milk made uh, from not as much cows, but soybeans. And when they uh, used the milk from the soybeans, they decided, you know, oh, that makes my stomach hurt. You know, I'm going to create a new milk and it's going to be made out of something ridiculous like coconuts. And so then they took coconuts and they squeezed them really hard and they made this milk out of it that wasn't um, very thick or um, good tasting. And then people said, you know what, that makes my stomach hurt. Um, and then they did this a couple more times with hemp and um, and and uh, various other types of um, things around the house. And eventually they landed on oats. And who knew that you can squeeze milk out of oats? I guess um, oats have um, te a teats on the little teats on the uh, grains, and somehow they are able to uh, pull the milk out of those teats, and that is super cool. So we're going to try the special oat uh, milk, uh, uh, the the cho uh, chocolate brand. So uh, Pete uh, is going to go ahead and um, and uh, 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 pour us each a glass, and I'll just have a little bit because when I taste milk, I just want to swirl it uh, like wine. And um, okay, that's fine. Thank you. And it's got a nice consistency. It looks almost like it could be milk. It's brown. Um, and it's that great kind of brown, that kind of chocolate brown, that um, which is good because it's chocolatey. Um, it's a chocolatey milk. And I'm going to go ahead and smell it and swirl it. And it does smell like chocolate milk, like the straight from the cow kind of chocolate milk from the brown cows. Yep. So this tastes like the cereal milk after eating Rice Krispies, the chocolate kind. So you've just finished up your Rice Krispies and then it, but it's the chocolate Rice Krispies and the milk is all brown. And then you pick up the milk and you, dr you drink it down and it's like a childhood fantasy. And, and the whole time you're thinking, I would rather have Captain Crunch right now, but this will do today. That's what this tastes like. And it is amazing. And the great thing about this is it isn't going to hurt your stomach um, until we come up with another kind of milk that um, we'll eventually we'll all move to because this does hurt our stomachs. I don't know about you, but this is one of the most fascinating, intriguing, uh, mysterious, beautiful products that we have ever reviewed. And I think 
you should switch off of whatever that you are drinking now and and buy uh, Oatly. And we'll leave a link in the in, in, down in the comments, and you can click on that link and uh, get to the get to um, Amazon and buy some of this stuff because this is the real deal for the future. Um, if you like the show today, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and the like buttons. Please be careful around the dislike button. You have to understand there is mental health at risk here if you uh, keep pushing those buttons. And uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take the rest of the week off. I deserved it. Pete almost deserved it. He's getting there with uh, learning how to hand the things at the right time. And I feel like I am going to truly enjoy um, this week. Got to be with your friends for life. I'm not going to lie. It hurts my stomach.